Hey guys, Silent Oblivion 903 here once again, and this is part 5 of my Destiny beta playthrough. Now, in this video, I'm going to be completing the next mission of the game, which is mission 4. Uh, this one is called the Warmind. Uh, it's going to click launch just to dive right into this one. Right now, in the last video, uh, the Dark Within, it was uh, pretty short and sweet, but uh, a lot of gunfight going on. It was still quite an exciting, intense mission. So, uh, hopefully, this one follows that tradition. Uh, as I've said multiple times, this game is, uh, I've got to say I'm starting to like it. Uh, I was very really on the fence about it uh, before I played the beta, but I think this has definitely uh, turned my opinion around and I'm definitely going to be getting this uh, in September. So uh, right, can't wait to dive into this next one, which we'll be doing in just a moment. Right, so here we go, this one is called The Warmind. Guardians set up a vehicle grid here. We sink to that. We can summon ground transport from our ship. Let's go. Right, so my first objective is to find the vehicle grid. Uh, I'm just going to check that objective once I've got rid of those enemies. There we go. Right, sink to the vehicle grid to summon your sparrow. Right. Sounds straightforward. I've got to say, this mission is a level 4 story mission apparently, and uh, I am only level 3 at the minute. I've basically haven't done anything but to do with story missions. Uh, so hopefully uh, this doesn't cause me too many issues. I don't know whether it's going to make things a lot harder. Um, but that remains to be seen. Uh, fingers crossed it doesn't, and we get through it with no issues. So right, there's the marker there that we've got to get to. So just going to head over here. Um, it looks like the same map that the last mission was on. Uh, just obviously it looks like a different time of day. Uh, but that's not a bad thing. Uh, we're in the Moth Yards again, so yeah, it definitely is the same map. But not to worry, it looks like we're going to a different part of it. Uh, there's the Skywatch from the previous mission. And they're just going to head over here. I think this is where the vehicle the grid is. Just going to deploy Ghost to do his thing. Right, so I'm going to enter nav mode. Right, so now I am on my sparrow. Uh, left trigger to boost. Uh, right trigger to air brake. And right, yep, all looks good. So I'm just heading up here, uh, back towards the Skywatch actually, but I don't think I'm going to it. I think I'm just sort of going uh, around it. Right, yeah, I completely uh, missed the Skywatch. We're going to a different location, even though it's the same uh, map area from the previous mission. Right, now we're in the Forgotten Shore. Sort of so I think this is where the next part of the mission is going to be. Right, scan the fallen amplifiers. Right. But I think what I need to do first is get off uh, Sparrow, because it looks like there's quite a few enemies around here. Right, it's going to deploy Ghost. Right, there we go. He's going to do his thing and uh, scan the first uh, amplifier. Give me a second. Right, looks like I've got a little bit of backup here, actually. And um, Provided he doesn't run away. But uh, he's level 8, so if he can help me out, that'd be fantastic. Right, so we've scanned the first amplifier now. Right, I'm just going to uh, summon my Sparrow again, just to take me there a bit quicker. Right, here we go, at the next destination, uh, the next amplifier should just be round here. Yeah, so much wave to me, that's cool.
Right, so now uh, he's deployed his ghost and finished that, I can deploy mine. And uh, scan this final amplifier. Uh, it looks like he's ran off now. Right, I wonder where there's any enemies going to pop out. Right, now we've got to infiltrate the Skywatch. So it looks like we're going to go back where we uh, were in the last mission. So right, here we go. Going to head back towards the Skywatch. Uh, oh, I thought I was going to come off it there. I uh, didn't though. I don't know if you'd do. But that was a pretty uh, mighty crash. But anyway, heading back to the Skywatch now. Looks like we're going to go in from a different uh, way than we did the first time round though. Right, looks like we're coming towards it now. Right, here we go. We are now in another darkness zone. Well, I'm going to have to be careful here because I did just get a lot of my uh, health taken off me there as I was getting off the bike. Um, but all seems well again. Just I imagine the fact that I'm a lower level, this is going to cause me a lot of issues. Just really got to play it safe. I'm nearly at level 4 though, so it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, I say that. I really hope so. Right, looks like he can uh, move around quite uh, sharpish as well as teleport. Right, he's taking a lot of health off me. I'm going to run and take some cover uh, momentarily. Just let my health regenerate a bit. I don't really fancy redoing this section, so if I can do it first time, that'd be great. Right, there we go. That is the captain taken care of. I'm now level 4. Uh, which is good, hopefully that should make me a little bit stronger uh, to complete the rest of this mission. I've got a new upgrade, uh, which I can sort out once I've completed this mission. And right, now I'm going to carry on through the Skywatch. The Fallen are tapped into something in the back of the room. Right, I think there's some enemies kicking about though. Right, that's the captain taken care of. Uh, I don't know if there's another one though. Right, let's go around here and have a look. I'm going to deploy Ghost as well, let him do his thing. Right, there we go, that's the, uh, the stealth enemy taken care of. Right, I think that's all the enemies in this area taken care of, so oh, there's another one there. Right, so Ghost is doing his thing, I've got to resist the falling. Now it looks like my health is taking a bit of a beating, I just need to hand back momentarily. And hopefully just let my health regenerate, there we go, right. Let's get to it. Right, I'm just trying to try the divide and conquer technique again, just trying to pick them off one at a time rather than going in all guns blazing.
Right, uh, there's quite a lot of enemies in this section. Still got quite a few uh, left on the map. Hopefully, uh, take care of them. I think I've got most of them out of the way now. So, it shouldn't be too bad. But there is another captain there. So, I'll, he might cause me some issues. Get rid of those uh, shanks. Right, notice I'm starting to uh, run low on ammo for my machine gun as well. I think that's the captain taken care of as well. Or is that another one up there? Right, there we go. That really took a lot of the captain's health off him. Right, got rid of him as well. Right, is that all of them? I think that could be all the enemies. Eh, yeah, I wasn't too bad actually. Oh no, there's a few more here. Right, I have no idea what they are. It's the first time I've come across any of these. Right, let's try to take them. I look like they can take quite a lot of damage too. Right, just trying to uh, play it a bit stealthy at the minute and uh, just sort of try to use my cover a lot. Hopefully after these couple of enemies this should be the end of this section. Uh, there can't be that many more to go now. Right, there we go. Ghost has uh, managed to get into that. Uh, I need to destroy the fallen tap. Right, so I just need to shoot the exposed core. I imagine this is it. Right, there we go. Looks like it's starting to uh, blow up. Right, and there we go, that is the mission completed. Uh, that was the war mind. I've got to say, I was really panicking a bit uh, about this mission due to the fact that I wasn't the uh, level that it said that I should be. But we got through it with no issues. Uh, not too many issues anyway. Uh, which is good. Uh, just having a little quick look around before this mission finishes. Just see if there's anything uh, to pick up. And he's protecting something here in the Cosmodrome. We have to find a way to reach him. Right, but there we go, that is the mission over. Right, there we go, got another upgrade there, the Fist of Havoc. I got a couple of rewards there as well. So right, it's going to click Y to continue and just exit this mission. Right, let's have a quick look at these upgrades. Right, I'm going to upgrade to them. And I uh, got another weapon as well. Right, that seems like a better weapon there, eh? but the rate of fire isn't as good, so I think I'm just going to stick with the one I've got, if I'm perfectly honest. Right, I'm just going to upgrade uh, to the Fist of Havoc, smash the ground and dissolve nearby enemies. Uh, yeah, that sounds quite cool. Right, so that is my upgrades done. And uh, on that note, that is going to conclude this video. Um, the next video I will be doing, the next mission, uh, let's just see what it is. It is the Devil's Lair. Um, it is a level 6 mission though, so uh, I wonder how that one's going to go. Um, but I'm sure we'll find out, I'm sure it'll be well. So thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope you check out the next one. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Until then, bye for now.